Hello everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'm doing another Valentine's Day themed painting. This time I'm painting a goat with a rose in its mouth. I like to think the goat's eating the rose. You can find the material list in the description of the video. Otherwise, I'm going to get started painting. I'm going to start off by filling in the face of the goat with some yellow ochre paint. I'm adding this wet paint directly to dry paper. I would recommend using a medium sized round brush for this process, such as a number 8 or a number 6. And then here I'm adding some lines that go into the dry area right here. And then using my raw umber, I'm going to create a shadow around the eye. Starting with a light layer of yellow ochre. Just rotate my paper here. And then here I'm adding a mixture of raw umber and yellow ochre. And I'm going to fill in this area with some more brown. And now that this area is dry, I'm going to work on the ears. I'm going to start with some yellow ochre. And I'm going to be using some burnt umber. Burnt umber is a little warmer than raw umber. The goat's eyes are an orange color. I'm going to start with burnt sienna in a small round brush and start outlining the eye. And now let's do the same thing to the other eye. And here's that cadmium orange medium hue. After things dry, use a saturated amount of Payne's Gray and start outlining the eye again. And then here I'm painting the pupil of the goat. The goat's pupils are horizontal lines. I'm just going to fill those in. For the rose, I'll be using either magenta or red paint. Sorry, my camera's not on the rose right here. I'll adjust that in a second. I started off by adding some water to the rose, and then along the edge of the petal, I added some pink or red paint. And while things are still wet, I'm adding a more saturated amount of magenta. And then I gently blend the two layers together. And I'm using a similar step for the other petal. Start with a light wash of pink in the middle of the petal. And then add darker value to the outside of the petal. And 
you can see the two colors mixing. And this back petal over here is going to be a little darker, so we're going to keep the paint more saturated. This back petal is darker, so we're going to use more saturated paint. Now I'm going back in adding some fine details with a saturated amount of paint. Next we're moving to the leaves on the rows. Here I'm using olive green. I'm going to start with a saturated amount of paint and then blend things out with some water. And then you can start working your way down the stem. For the leaves, I'm using a slightly larger brush to fill things in quicker. I'm going to start with a very light wash of green or just clean water. And I'm going to add my green paint. I'm avoiding the edges of the leaf here. And I'll be switching to a darker green and adding that along the edges. Because both paints are wet, you can see them mix. Then just continue down painting your leaf. Try to keep the inner part of the leaf lighter and the edges darker. After they dry, use a wet on dry technique to add some details. Here I'm using Cascade Green, but use any darker green you have. And I'm just outlining the shapes of the leaves. And then after getting my brush wet, I'm blending out the harsh lines. Now let's go back to the goat's face. I'm going to be adding some pink around the nose. The color I'm using is Rose Doray. And I'm going to dab in some more pink. I'm dabbing this in while the paint is still wet. And now I'm going to allow that area to dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to work on the neck of the goat. I'm using a mixture of yellow ochre and burnt umber. And then I'm going to work my way down its neck. I'm 
I'm having things abstract a little bit. And a little bit of burnt umber over here. Alright, we're getting close to being done. We just need to work on the face of the goat. And begin by painting the nostrils. So I'm first outlining them with raw umber, and then I'm gonna fill them in with a lighter wash of raw umber. The middle of the goat's head is white, but I'm going to be painting a shadow on it. For the shadow, I'm going to be using a light wash of paint's gray. To get your paint really light, just dilute it with quite a bit of water. And I'm adding it just to the center of the white area, mainly by the top where the horns come out. And then while things are still wet, I'm going to be adding some raw umber to it. And a couple shadows around the nose. And before things dry, I'm gonna dab in some water while things are damp. That'll create some blooms. Then after things dry, let's go paint the horns of the goat. For the horns, I'll be using Payne's Gray again. I'm gonna start outlining the shape here, and then I'm gonna dip my brush into water and then blend things out. Now that the horns are dry, we're gonna add some lines. Add the lines using Payne's Gray paint. Then add them to the other horn as well. Thank you so much for watching as I painted this goat. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll have a drawing template for this piece on Patreon along with the full tutorial.